Piglet. I will be right back. I'm going to take a shower, okay? Showers are a tad bit of a hike. But at least I have showers. I have a shower in my van. I've showed it before, but it's very, very small and very uncomfortable to take a shower in. Plus, I don't like to use the water because I only have a 24-gallon water tank. And uh, when I run out of water, that means I got to pack up and go somewhere to fill it up. So I don't like to use the water in my van when I don't need to. So the showers are in this building right down there behind that camper or truck or whatever that is. Hey mom, nice and clean. It's a pretty good shower. It's nice and hot. You have to keep pushing the button to get the water to come back on, but it's pretty good. I think that's a blue bunting on top of that sign. And here's the drinking water refill station. It's not very far from where we're parked. Let's see what Piglet's up to. Hi, Piglet. I told you I would be back. I'm nice and clean. Aren't you glad? I got through taking a shower about 11, 10. And it is 11.28, and my hair is already dry. That's how dry the hair is here in New Mexico. Love it! I'm not going down there. <laughs> no way. Did you eat all your food? <coughs> what do you want? That's your second bowl. I'm not giving you any more. You didn't even finish your second bowl. <coughs> well, what do you want? I don't know what you want. Did you drink some water? You're licking your lips like you didn't drink any water. Why don't you go drink some water? Oh, you're still eating? What you want? Go drink some water. Go drink some water, okay? I don't know what you want. You want to get up on the bed? Okay, come on. I'll, get, I'll put you up on the bed. How's that? Is that good? You got a nice little breeze coming through here. It'll probably make you cold and you'll get under the blankets, won't it? Okay, I'm going to put your dish away, alright? You done? Are you done eating? I checked that as a yes. I guess you're wondering why I didn't hike down to the lake. It's because I have a bit of a headache from the altitude change between Snowflake and Blue Water Lake. It's 7,500 feet here in Blue Water Lake, and it was only 6,000 feet in Snowflake. So we'll try again in the morning. Good morning. I am getting ready to take a walk down to the lake. I'm not going to take my backpack with me. Uh, it's not that kind of a trail. Uh, so I'm not going to take the ashes with me. I just want to go scope it out. It doesn't look to be too very far. So come check it out with me. We are headed to the north campground. 
which has a little trail that goes around the edge of the lake. So we're going to be going somewhere down around there. I think we're on the right path to get to the lake. This looks a little bit familiar, especially those rocks down there right by the river's edge. I'm not sure if this is where we camped when I was a kid, but that rock looks very familiar. But look how many people are just camping right on the river's edge here. I'm not sure how, if you have to have a reservation for that or how you get to camp down here. Uh, I don't think my van would like this road too much, so not too worried about trying it myself. Uh, I don't think this just doesn't feel right for casting the ashes. So I'm thinking I may try the trail then into the canyon. It's peaceful though. And we're back at the campsite. And Daisy looks very happy there. I guess I think it might be time for breakfast. And I'm gonna get out the little camp stove and cook outside. I'm gonna put the screen down so no bugs get in here. going to have eggs, sausage, hash browns, and a little bit of cheese and eggs. I had to mark the top because it kept opening it upside down. <coughs> That screen is nice, but it's a pain when you're going in and out with carrying stuff. Before I do anything, I have to take my apple cider vinegar. I had been doing it every day for a couple of weeks, and then I went somewhere, and so I had to pack it away, and then I forgot to get it back out. But it's supposed to help you lose weight. And I think it does work a little bit. By the way, since I did my video on losing weight in the van, I have lost 10 pounds. I had lost 11, but I can't seem to get rid of that pound again. It creeped back up on me somehow. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy the face that I make when I take this. You gotta hold your breath. Oh, that's bad. Look really bad. Ugh. It better be working. Oh my God, that's horrible. Woo. My eyes are watery. <laughs> Oh well, at least it's done with now.
quiet. I already had one cup of coffee this morning, but it, I, I thought I'd try Starbucks dark roast because I love dark roast coffee. But when I got <clears throat> when I got it uh, open this morning, I discovered that it was already ground, and it was not espresso roast; it was French roast. I made it anyway, but it just wasn't the same as this stuff. This is my favorite coffee, and it's only fourteen something for a two pound bag. It's the best coffee. It's. It's almost as good as the espresso roast they have at Sprouts. Actually, it might be better because it's cheaper. Anyway, that's what I'm having now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that <coughs> Starbucks coffee that I bought. Because it was like $18. And it's not even... I think, well, it might be two pounds. I'm not sure. A pound and a half, maybe. And I prefer... To grind my own beans because it's just a lot fresher and tastes a lot better. <clears throat> oh, I forgot the water. <clears throat> Turning the water on. I get the coffee. I've been grinding coffee every morning, sometimes twice, for the last six months. And when I first started doing it, it took me a really long time to get one little batch ground up and my arm would get tired, but ah, I'm getting muscles. <laughs> have a beautiful view of Mount Taylor to look at while I'm grinding my coffee. A little breeze coming through. I've been making coffee for Bob every morning, so I'm surprised that I got through grinding so soon, but it's because I'm only making enough coffee for me. I got to set my timer for four minutes and 30 seconds. of photographs of the alpacas being sheared and after they were sheared and they look like little deer they look so skinny they look naked but I bet they feel a whole lot better now they were pretty fluffy and it's getting hot in snowflake I bet they wish they were here because it's nice and cool here I don't know what the temperature is I'll have to look but I can't look because you're on my thumb. So I'll let you know later what the temperature was.
I think this is the Pinyon Campground. The nice views of the lake. I don't know if you can tell, but this hill is very steep and my legs are going to be sore today when I'm done with this hike. Here's the damn overlooked parking. There's a damn overlook. We are right there. It's 0.47 miles. Oh, it looks like it goes all the way around. I didn't see the trail back here. Well, I'm just going to go look at the dam from the dam overlook. I should have done this earlier in the morning. Although it's probably only about 70 degrees right now. And it's breezy, so. And I have water. So we're gonna give it a shot. I should have worn my hiking boots though, because it's pretty rocky. It's very pretty up here. Oh, look behind us. Is the lake back there? I think I mentioned earlier, unless I didn't cut that part out in the edit, that I have lost 10 pounds since I posted my losing weight in van life video back in February, I think it was. So I'm just going to keep on plugging and try to eat healthy. It's kind of hard to eat healthy with Bob around. He likes ice cream and donuts. I hope I'm not disappointed when I get up to the top of this. I'm sure not disappointed with that view. down there fishing or photographing they're photographing this is pretty cool I've never seen this before I don't know if I were to throw my parents ashes into the wind here that would blow right back in my face is the pinyon camping ground i think it must be because i smell pinyon trees it smells really good oh i wish i had some pinyons right now hmm but people will run across somebody selling them on the side of the road it's very often something you see in new mexico well i don't think we're gonna be able to my parents ashes today it's starting to get very warm 
And I may need to turn the air conditioner on. That left piglet in the van with just the fan running. And no, not none of the doors open. The slider doors closed and the back doors closed. So I'm going to head back to the van and open those up and get some air flowing through there. And I guess I'll edit this video. And you'll have to just come back tomorrow to see where I end up casting the ashes. I have a feeling it's going to be in the canyon. Right down there somewhere. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.